Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be looking at how you can use masks in HitFilm 4 Express. So what's a mask? A mask is simply a selection of part of your video or image and the video or image will only be visible in that selection. So how do we use masks in HitFilm? Well, this is our viewer panel here and just on the left we have a bunch of tools. We've got the normal move tool, We've also got this hand tool, which we can use to scrub around our canvas with, and our text tool. But now we've got three mask tools here. So just to show you what a mask does, grab the rectangular mask tool, and then on your video, simply drag, and you'll see that now the video is only visible um, where that selection was. In the rectangular mask tool, you can also hold shift to create a square-shaped mask, or you can hold down option, to create a rectangle from that center, or option and shift to create a square from the center. Now in the elliptical mask tool, there's a very similar thing going on. You can create an ellipse just by dragging like so, or you can hold option to create an ellipse from the center of where you want your ellipse to be, or hold shift to create a circular um, mask. You've also got your freehand mask tool here. So if we select the freehand mask tool, then we can just click points in our video to create a mask, just a shape, and then once we're done, we just click back on the original first point, and we can see that now the mask is only visible in that first shape. And if we click back on our mask, we can edit all the points and move them around like so. When you're creating a freehand mask, you can also use curves. For example, not only can I click to create create normal points, but if I drag, then I can create a curve. Now, this, these two lines are called hands, so if we drag this hand around, it'll change sort of the way that the curve moves um, from between these two points, and if we change this hand right here, then we can change the way that this curve moves as well. Now we're going to go in a little more detail. I'm just going to delete these, and if I get rid of this cow, then you see I've got this image of uh, Donald Trump. And I've got nothing against Donald Trump, of course. Of course. And um, we're just going to mask his face out. So what we can do is we can zoom in by scrolling or using the uh, zoom in here. And we're just going to zoom in into his face. And we can use the freehand mask tool to create a rough mask around Donald Trump. Now if the hair is a bit difficult, um, you will have a lot of problems with the hair. You can also create curves to create smoother points. And when you're done, just click on your original point. So now we've got Donald Trump's face masked out, which means that we can just move his face around and uh, do all sorts of things to his face. So now we can begin to explore some of the other options with masking. So if we go into our controls tab here, and we go into our masks, we can open up our mask. We've got a bunch of properties here. For example, we can invert the mask, like so. We can also set the blend mode, such as add. Add's probably the one you want to use most of the time anyway. But there are a whole bunch of other blending modes I won't go into right at the moment. If we go into our shape, we've got some important ones, such as expansion, which expands or contracts the mask, like so. And you can type in more direct values, like like so. You can also do feather, and feathering is simply just smoothing of the edges. And you can set it to feather in say 10 pixels feather, or maybe even 20. And you can set it to feather from inside the mask, or from outside the mask, or a combination of both. You've also got roundness, which sort of creates blobs um, between uh, the points of your mask. So I don't know why you never want to use roundness, but it's there for you just in case you have needed to. I'm now going to take a more practical look at how we can use masks as well. So for example, I've got this cow here, if we just zoom in. See, at the moment it looks sort of like it's in front of the tree, but if I want it to be in behind the tree, then there's also a way I can do that. If I select the cow and I get the freehand mask tool, I might even hide the cow layer, and I'm going to just create a mask like so, and I'm going to 
maybe change that a bit try and make it as accurate as possible and then I'm going to close up the mask like so if we hide the layer we can see that now the cows are only visible in that area so we're just going to invert the mask like so and now the cow looks like it's behind the tree so thank you guys for watching this video um, I hope you enjoyed this video I hope this video was helpful to you um, if it was obviously leave a like and a comment what you thought of this video um, and I will see you guys next week. Stay shiny. Bye!